future uh, treatment options for ASM uh, focus largely on new kinase inhibitors with activity against the D816V kit. Um, in addition to midostorin, which is a non-specific kit inhibitor, uh, there are at least uh, two other uh, specific kit D816V inhibitors that are in early stage clinical trials. Um, one uh, made by Blueprint Medicines, the other by Decipera. Uh, there may be more that I'm not aware of at this point. Uh, and uh, it would be interesting to see the results uh, from clinical trials using those kinase inhibitors, uh, given the success of midostorin in uh, the phase two trial. Uh, I uh, personally would have uh, positive expectations uh, from those trials, but we have to wait and see what they show. There are also trials using other uh, inhibitors uh, targeting other molecules such as um, uh, ibrutinib. Um, uh, that is a small trial uh, in, in Stanford led by Dr. Jason Gottlieb. There are also um, small trials uh, targeting surface markers of uh, mast cells. Uh, abnormal mast cells. Um, as an example, um, interleukin-3 receptor, or CD123, is targeted in one trial. Uh, CD30, uh, which is uh, not expressed on normal mast cells, but is expressed on uh, abnormal mastocytosis mast cells, uh, is the target in another trial. Um, so um, we have to, uh, again, wait and see. Uh, whether those uh, trials would uh, produce uh, favorable responses or not. Another important area is uh, that we um, have to consider the fact that not one single drug will give us all of the benefits. And we may have to combine some of these drugs together to achieve the most benefit. So it may be that in the future, we might end up combining a kinase inhibitor with cladribine two different drugs with two different mechanisms of action, or maybe a drug targeting a surface receptor plus a kinase inhibitor, or maybe investigate the role of these new drugs in conditioning regimens in stem cell transplantation. Uh, we know that uh, conditioning regimens are important. Uh, myeloablative regimens tend to work better in uh, producing more uh, overall survival and progression-free survival than um, non myeloablative regimens. Uh, so I think uh, we may have to be creative and incorporate some of these newer treatments into the conditioning regimens to see what the optimal outcome for these patients are. And finally, uh, there is uh, this uh, other side of the uh, spectrum uh, in patients with benign disease uh, uh, that don't necessarily have a hematologic problem or decrease life expectancy because of mastocytosis, but uh, there's also a huge unmet need for that population as well because they are suffering from some of those patients, not everybody, but uh, the majority of them suffer from daily symptoms of mast cell mediator release and mast cell activation symptoms such as flushing, abdominal symptoms, uh, uh, hypotension, and so on. And uh, some of these drugs, uh, if they turn out to have a very favorable toxicity profile, may also be tried in those uh, benign forms of indolent mastocytosis.